welcome to st paul's high school virtual learning class today i nasreen siddiqui will be teaching you six standard grammar topic nouns are you all ready first of all let's understand what is noun so student noun is a naming word you all must be wondering what is naming word well you see everything in this word has a name and that name is a noun look at these pictures ball pencil chair ball pencil chair these are the names of things so they are nouns tiger dog spider fish these are the names of animals and they are also nouns i hope you all have understood that noun is a naming word it names people animals things and places and everything even the thing you can't see directly for example love health and happiness just remember everything has a name and that name is a noun in other words a noun is a naming word so students let us quickly note down the definition of noun which is going to be display at your screen a word or phrase that is name of something as a person place or thing and that is used in a sentence specially as subject or object of a verb or as object of a preposition is called as noun after understanding the definition of what is noun let's discuss what are the different types of noun and i think students it is quite easy to understand types of noun once we have understood the definition of types of noun so we can say there are four main types of noun which we are going to discuss in today's chapter in today's lesson first type of noun is common noun proper noun collective noun and then abstract noun today in this uh, video we will discuss these four types of noun let me elaborate common noun as i told you that uh, when you have understood the definition of uh, noun it becomes very easy to understand what is a common noun so i can say that a noun that is the name of a person place animal or thing is called a common noun it can have a singular as well as plural form a common noun never begins with a capital letter you should always remember as i said that it can have a singular as well as a plural form let me uh, give you an example like chair and chairs both are common nouns now i'm going to show you the definition of common noun student please make a note of it a common noun is the generic name for a person place or thing in a class or group unlike proper nouns a common noun is not capitalized unless it either begins a sentence or appears in a title i hope everyone has made a note of the definition which i had shown now let's move further and understand what is a proper noun you like you have a name and your name is a special noun it is called proper noun like you are a boy or you are a girl is a common noun 
and your name let's say um radhika or let's say um, suman is a proper noun now common noun doesn't talk about one specific person you can use the noun boy for any boy but everyone cannot be samir samir is the name of one particular boy so samir is a proper noun students now i'm going to show you a comparative chart of common and proper noun through which you will be able to understand that how a common noun becomes a proper noun or what is the difference between common noun and a proper noun just see the uh, difference between both and understand what is common and what is proper noun boy is a common noun sam is a proper noun ocean common specific proper language common english proper mountain common noun himalaya is a proper noun school is a common noun st paul's high school is a proper noun students hope there is no doubt now between common noun and proper noun now i am going to show you the definition of proper noun make a note of it a proper noun is a specific that is not generic name for a particular person place or thing proper nouns are always capitalized in english no matter where they fall in a sentence a common noun is the generic name for the one item in a class or group third type of noun is abstract noun students can you see or touch a ball yes of course can you see or touch love no so here you are love is an abstract noun abstract noun are the names for things you cannot see or touch you can only feel or understand them they are the names given to ideas or feelings here are some abstract nouns examples at your screen love friendship happiness or joy all right so you have seen the examples of abstract noun now you might get confused between common proper noun and abstract noun so let me uh, make you uh, let me give you more examples or let me elaborate it in a way like uh, you can uh, see or touch a flower right so it is not an abstract noun you can feel its beauty so beauty is an abstract noun now students make a note of the definition of abstract noun an abstract noun is a noun that you cannot sense it is the name we give to an emotion ideal or idea they have no physical existence you can't see hear touch smell or taste them the opposite of an abstract noun is a concrete noun for example justice an idea bravery and happiness are all abstract noun all right so fourth and last type of noun of today's chapter is collective noun collective noun is a name for a collection of people animals or things taken as one whole did you understand let me elaborate like a group of something is called as a collective noun like uh, what we can say like um, a group of uh, of a student is class group of singer is choir group of robbers is gang and so on a team of players a school of fish a herd of elephants a pride of lion 
a bouquet of flowers children i hope the explanation given for the topic is uh, very clear and the video whatever doubts you had uh, would be clear uh, with the help of the videos now i'm going to uh, attach an assignment uh, for the topic which i have explained today uh, you all are supposed to complete the assignment in, in any of the book or uh, whatever is available at your home thank you and have a nice day